Hi there, I'm Sarah Henson. I'm an email copywriter and strategist, and I'm a self-confessed tech geek. There's my little face on my website. I start most of my videos with a screenshot of my website just to make it nice and clean, but it also gets you to see who I am because I'm not super comfortable with being on video just yet. So maybe that's one day I will get there. Anyway, back to the purpose of this. This video is going to show you how you can link out your past emails or in any other email that you might send in the future or on social media or anywhere like that. And it's a perfect way of repurposing your content. Now, the thing about email and what's so great about it, it is a perfect strategy to be able to market to your customers, to your subscribers and get great results. Now, a lot of clients that I've worked with in the past who are new e-commerce store owners have said to me that they spend so much time on social media. And the thing is, one thing about social media is that your past posts are still visible in your feed. And um, many of them feel like once an email has gone out, that's it is lost in cyberspace but that is not the fact you can actually link back to them if you want to repurpose it for anything um, there may be something very specific about a product that you'd like to link to in a future email and this is why learning this little hack in ConvertKit is perfect to be able to do that so I'm just going to take you into my ConvertKit account I've come to broadcast now what I'm going to do is find a link to this last email that I sent so that I can um, link to it in a future email. So what I do is click on the email, you'll see on my stats there, and you go to this bit here, press share, and it'll open a new tab with the email. And you've got your subject line there and then all about the email there. So what you do is just copy and paste the URL address in the in your browser there so I'm just going to press command and C because I'm on a Mac and that copies that down for me now I would if I'm quite strategic and organized I would add that to a metric sheet if I'm tracking my emails which if you're in e-commerce you should be doing that to know how well your emails are, are performing you will want to have a column where you have the link to the email so that you can easily reference it without having to keep going back into your email platform your convert kit account to actually find them now what i want to do then is go to broadcast and let's end i'm sending a new email out so i'll click new broadcast i'm just going to go through to the next step here and let's just say did you see this Okay, so last week I was saying that selling might be sleazy, but that's not necessarily the case. So, well, perfect place to link out that email is selling might be sleazy. Press that link, insert the link, paste command V on a Mac, paste in the URL from this. You'll see that is the same as that. And then open link in a new tab. And I don't need to tag subscribers with it. And then I insert that. And that's all I do so that when that gets sent, if people are interested in selling might be sleazy, they click on that and they'll be able to read last week's email. Or, you know, it might be, I might want to re link in the last week bit because it's referring to my last email. Um, and that very quickly is how you link out to past emails. If you found this video useful, helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to keep track of any copy, email or technical tips, tricks and hacks that I share on my channel and please be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell as well to get notified of when my next video releases. So I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.